All right, it's uh, January the 28th. I finally got my printer working, so I was able to uh, make a collection of the work already done. And this goes back, the arc ship goes back about two years. This goes back about a year. Um, and this is the, the relocation platform technology that the Lord gave me in 2009. And uh, so actually this here, this floor floor section is just a copy there. You might see the first, second, and, and third floors there, right? You can see first, second, and three floors on, on this level. So I'm going to have to teach you guys how to... Uh, to uh, <clears throat> to build the uh, relocation platform technology. So, just going to turn the camera around for a minute. Hopefully, my face is in view. And uh, I feel a little little push from the Lord to get this done, not to dawdle. It's taken me uh, almost a month to get back into the saddle to do this, but with the Rotation of the earth or the core of the earth coming to a standstill. I don't know how much time that we have before the three days of darkness is ushered in. So I need to at least to have have this rough draft complete. And uh, you know, the Lord first gave me this uh, technology back in the summer of 1988. It was called uh, Project David. I drew out my first uh, large uh, land scale. Uh, layout. It was uh, 5,435 uh, acres or something like that. About <clears throat> almost about five five square miles. It was a fair sized chunk of chunk of property anyway. So the the arc ship design that was <clears throat> that the Lord gave me two years ago, like for a full concept model, uh, was actually set on about a a section of land and and uh i'm going to walk you through on this i'm going to turn this around i'm not going to take too much time on this all right i don't know if i can expand this out or not so the arc ship actually stands for uh, advanced relocation contingency plan for sustainable housing in close proximity. That's what the Lord gave me. Bracing for cosmic chaos and the end of the world as we know it. The three days of darkness is definitely going to do this. Preparing to live off grid until Yeshua comes. So that's the manual. I'm hoping to be have the time to be able to write out a, a book on this. It's just a soft cover book. So right now, what I'm working on, what I like to focus on is this here. This is the relocation platform technology that the Lord gave me in the summer of 2009. And it's composed of interlocking hexagonal floor systems. So right in the middle of each uh, segment, hexa hexagonal segment, there's a uh, now she go lay down. There is a, a foot that goes to ground, right? <clears throat> so this one here uh, from point to point it would be 8 feet point to point and uh, the panels are, are yet to be designed. It'd be nice if, if you'd be able to print them off or stamp them off or something with the, the inner inner lock together and the weights transferred down through the center. There's, there's lots that you can do with this. You know, what you're looking at here is from the top down, you're looking at the, uh, the, the atrium level, right? This would be the top of the, the, the bottom of the third floor, which could be an atrium. And this here would be your actual uh, community center where you would have, you, you could set up tables and all that to feed about 40 people. So it'd be kitchen, restaurant facilities. 
uh, on the very on the bottom, right? And uh, so the orange, the gray is actually the porch that, that goes around, and you got your main level. Uh, so this would be actually your the top of your of your sec. Okay, this would be first story, second story. So this would be alternative living, like apartment dwelling, maybe two, three apartments in here. And the top of that is your atrium. So it would be your main level apartment uh, living, then your atrium. So that's going to bring you about 8, uh, 8, 16, 17, 18 for the bottom, uh, 19, 20. Uh, so if you're going to put a, a dome over this, you have to go from the center out, right? So you got about a 4, 4, 4. Four, four, and four. So you get about 24 feet out from center, about 48 foot uh, across. So you want to be able to make a dome that goes over this year. So probably going to be around a 60 foot dome, right? But you'll have three families inside here. This would be management. This would be your community center. Okay, enough said of that. And so what I need to do is. Uh, Work on that. So that is the uh, core. This, that would, this here would be the main gathering point that would go into uh, this is the micro center layout, right? It could be half an acre, it could be a, uh, three quarters or two thirds of an acre. This one here, I think it's going to be uh, two thirds of an acre, 0. 0.66 of an acre, right? Or, or 0. 0.62. It works out too. <clears throat> so you'd be about 80 feet from uh, center. So this here is actually the core center that goes in the middle with a dome. And you would have six other domes that would rotate around the center and would be joined. It would be uh, joined so you don't have to go outside. <clears throat> and, and and being uh, this geometric design allows you in the center here, you could actually have, this could be on top of a basement. So the six families that are around would have access to the community center and you could actually have underground tunnels that connect to your your larger community gathering point. So roughly you would have, have between 36 to 40 people in each one of these, right? Then you would have access to here to where you would have, be able to uh, have a larger community center, like the spiritual center, where there'd be 24 seven uh, praise and worship and you know that's so the whole setup is designed on on the heavenly construct that the lord gave me all right let's go to this last part so if i already push it i could have this ready to go into a into a small binder this time next week so this is the what an arc ship would lay, uh, look like if uh, if this these micro camps are 0.62 of an acre, this this finishes out to uh, you got six of them in what I call the mac macro camp, right? So you take 0.62 times uh, uh, 16, because each one of these micro camps represents one sixteenth of the whole. So you multiply that by 16, 0.62 by 16, you get roughly 10 acres. Then I add a, a buffer, a two acre buffer around <clears throat> to give say approximately 12 acres. So this is your, actually this is what's called your Goshen camp. Goshen stands for God ordained sustainable housing for emergency networking, right? And so that, this is where the, they fit into the arc ship. So if you take if you take uh, twelve acres, you got twelve acres, twelve acres. So this is a binary design, and the center is a little more elaborate because this is going to be your your main spiritual center, right? Uh, you know this could be modified. It looks hard uh, to to design, but it's not really. You know I got everything ready to go on this. You just have to be able to connect the dots, as simple as that. 
And so you'd have uh, approximately, I have to get my uh, calculator out here. So in your micro camps, your micro camps, you got it's just go with an average of 40 people uh, per micro camp. That's 40 times 6. Uh, that's 240 people. Then you add another 40 people in this in the center for, for management. About 280 people. We're just going to say 250 people. So if you got 12 acre, uh, 250 divided by 12, uh, it's about about 20 people per acre. Population density, right? All this, all this is uh, scalable, right? So in a, a binary system that you see before you there, where that be the, yeah, that's the micro camp you see there. So you take two. Yeah, you got, uh, that's your 250 people, six camps, plus the gathering point in the center. And because of the climate chaos that we're going into, <clears throat> that one third of the whole setup could be underground. That's where you're cooling, that's where you're heating, that's where your food storage, uh, in case there's, you have to go underground that you can. But you have to remember that God's going to be our protector and that. According to what Neville Johnston was shown, there will be domes of protection over these places of rest. Psalms 90. There's Psalms 91 facilities, right? So in this one here, you would have your your 12 acres, 12 acres. This is your main gathering point. So your main gathering point would be uh, between, you know, if you got... 250 people here and here as 500 plus another maybe maximum uh, 250 in the center 250 times 3 roughly 700 500 to 700 people on this 60 acre plot all right and I don't have the so the next upgrade on this I uh, should have printed it off. I will go here. Try to give you a visual. So. You start from the top here. 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 And here. That's the actual arc ship proper, right? And, uh, no, that's not the design I wanted. <clears throat> you could actually take the, uh, I'll have this done for the next time, but, so this arc ship, 60 acre arc ship here, this is that what, what would be known as an H1, H1-60 or 60 acre arc ship. And so you could actually put this into another binary design. You could, <clears throat> or you could take this and you can actually put them six ways around to give you the, the larger concept. And uh, I'm not sure the magical number, it's, it's uh, it'd be 12 acres times whatever it is. It's gonna be half a section of land or something like that. And you could buffer the arc ships in between to fit whatever land mass. So if you've got 750 people on an arc ship, say 700, you can uh, take that, you multiply that by uh, 7, around 5,000 people. So a full uh, H6 arc ship facilities, uh, six arc ships around with the, with the spiritual center uh, Easily 5,000 people. So I'll be working out the, the details for you. All right. 14 minutes. Going to turn this around. So uh, next week, I'll be doing my best here. 
hang on to uh press on this on this journey of discovery to uh at least get the the goshen camps roughed in right and so once i've done the, the preliminary work on the micro camps uh you know i'll be explaining uh showing you how everything goes together and uh you know, from the uh, knowing the the diameter of the uh, micro camps, you can uh, predetermine what size of geodesic dome and what frequency is going to be needed to uh, to use it as as the cover, right? That way, you got a little bit of a environment inside. You know, you you covered from the elements. You got light coming in. It's 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 vented. The uh, the outside of your geodesic dome could be could be cement. Right, you could use a formwork to to set it up with, with steel. You could actually three D print the the formworks for for the molds. Right, that way you're you're coming up with the best, most efficient, cost effective solution. And uh, anyway, in order to bring the people uh, required to to make all this happen, and the times you're coming in, uh, you will need these places. I was talking to a friend uh, today. He phoned me up. His name, name is Peter Qual. He lives up in South Bank, and he's part of the David Terrell ministry. Uh, you know, I'm, we've both been part of that ministry for since the 80s. And he was telling me, he says, well, you know, David Terrell said it's coming a time where you're all going to sit down and for dinner and ask the Lord to, to fill the place with food, and God's going to do it. All right? But we still need to prepare is according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. So uh, tonight I'm actually jumping back into the saddle. And uh, next week I'll be pressing. My main priority is, is to get the uh, these uh, plans, at least the rough draft, completed to where they could be sent out. And... Uh, so the manual, when the full version of the manual goes together, it will show you the steps to take to be able to draw this out. It looks easy on paper. Once you understand it, it's really relatively easy. The isometric geometric concept, if you know any angle or any length of any side, you can figure out the rest. It's not like building on the square where every measurement is, is different. And... Uh, so it's designed for uh, where everything can be mass replicated and prepared for deployment. And that's what the Lord showed me in the seven open visions, that there will be a time where God's going to orchestrate a great exodus of souls on the West Coast, uh, between forty to 50,000 people. And they're the ones that make it out. They're the ones that God's going to deem, uh, you know, uh, have the faith to be able to prepare to 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 get out of the to, to flee the coming judgments along the coastlines of of Canada and America, right? And uh all right, gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna turn this around so you can get a final view. So this is a composition, you know. I started working on this stuff back in the summer of nineteen eighty eight. I've uh now I do everything on computer. There was a time where I, where I did all this by hand. And uh, I'll be fast-tracking this work. Our Lord willing, let me know of your comments. Good end it here. This is Don Taylor coming to you from my little place here. Boston Bar, British Columbia. I'm building on the refuge plans for the to preserve the bride of Christ through the coming times of trial.